Oh, oh, okay then, it's a bit nippy today. Put the old heater on in the in the workshop here, in the garage. Well, I'm gonna be packing this old clock up. I finally sold it. I sold it probably at a loss, I can't remember what I paid for it now. But I sold it for 30 quid, so at least it gets rid of it anyway, because no one else was gonna buy it, so it's probably worth thousands. <laughs> but hey ho. Um so yeah, I'm packing this up today. The buyer's been a bit of an idiot, really, but never mind. I is paid now. Um, he's already left me neutral feedback, even though I haven't actually even shipped it off to him because he delayed paying it. Well, I don't know what that's all about, but never mind. I. So anyway, let's get packing it up. Now, one very important thing that I want to show you a lot when you're packing up a clock like this is to make sure that you take the pendulum out and you secure the verge to make sure that it doesn't it ain't gonna arrive on beat anyway it's gonna have to adjust the beat to make sure it ticks all right but never mind it's just one of them things when you transport a clock so let's have a look in the back and I'll show you what you gotta do all right so if you open up the back here it's very important that um, you take the pendulum out take the pendulum out because you don't want that flapping about while it's being transported and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cable tie the verge to this cog here so that this can't flap about like that during the transportation process so if I just cable tie that just gently to that and that will stay there and it won't be able to move um, I'm only going to do it gently so all he's got to do is just snip the cable tie and that will go back to normal he probably will have to adjust the beat anyway but it's just one of them things I don't see any ha reason I don't see any way of stopping that so we've got some of these little mini cable ties here I'm going to mention it to him in the uh, when I send him a message I'm going to just say I've cable tied it up you're going to have to take it off before you otherwise the clock won't work etc because he does seem a little bit dopey to be honest with you um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's get this tack cable tied up and uh, hopefully we should be away after that. There we go, I've just gently cable tied that to that. It's not tight at all on there whatsoever. It's just going to be enough to stop that from flapping about during transportation. Um, then I'm just going to wrap up this pendulum and uh, stick that well, I might even not stick it in the back of the clock. No, I will stick it in the back of the clock. That way, it, won't, it can't get lost that way, can it? Because if he if he takes the clock out and then um, just discards the packaging and chucks it away, he's going to chuck his pendulum away, isn't he? So that's what we'll do. We'll wrap that up separately, and we should be away after that. So let's get some bubble wrap. Oh, we've got a bit of bubble wrap here. I'll wrap this up in this bubble wrap, and then I can get use the rest of the bubble wrap to wrap up the old uh, clock and everything in the box to make sure it's all secure and nice yeah so it's taken me a little bit of time but I've packed it up packed it up nicely made sure I've taken photographs of each and every process of packing it so that if anything happens which I think it probably will with this buyer um, I've got evidence to say and um, to prove that I've packed it and how I packed it well enough sweet well then now I might have a look at that actually. I've got to have a tidy up in here because the wet wipes on the floor is a mess everywhere. When there's stuff over there. <laughs> but I might have a look at that. Or I might go and have a look at the quad bike. I don't know yet. Oh man, what we got? This old, uh, my old LT50 has been... I've had, to, I've had to undig it. It's dug in by paddling pools. Um, I think that, I don't know what that is, what is that? That's a bouncy castle I think, I think that's a small bouncy castle. You know what I mean, it, it's all down to the wife, the wife and, and my mum, they tend to buy stuff like this and it ends up going in here, gets eaten by mice, never mind eh. Anyway, so I've dug it out, I'm not going to get it all the way out because I've got pots and stuff in the way, um, but... Uh, it needs, I'm going to give it a start up. I had a few requests anyway. I'm going to have to get it out. Oh, just piss off. Look, what's this all about? What's it? What's going on? Anyway, 
I did have a few requests anyway to get it out and, and uh, do a video on it, but I'm not going to get it out today, man. It's, I ain't got no petrol in it. So it's got a little bit. Might be enough to start it up, I hope. Um, so, yeah. I, I did have a few requests. Oh, get me foot out. It's covered in cobwebs. Somebody asked me how to change the air filter and how to do the spark plug. I'll have to do a video on that at some point. Um, it's very dusty, very dirty, full of uh, spiders. But anyway, let's put the old choke on. It always used to start fairly well. That's a bit, a bit stiff actually. Needs a wheel in. Always used to start fairly well. So let's have a look and see what it does now. We want it on the run. And, uh, Oh, we're gonna have to have that pulled in. Oh, yeah, the brakes don't work. I forgot about that. Let's see what happens. Oh, by the way, that is not an on and off switch for the fuel. That's just a primer. So any idiot that thinks it's an on and off thing, it ain't. I don't reckon there's any fuel in it. There's a little bit in there. But not much. We'll give it. I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to put the camera down because I've got to do the throttle at the same time. Ten minutes later and it ain't going. So I'm going to have to do another video on it. I'll get it out completely. Put a bit of petrol in it. And just check everything. And try and get it to go. That's what I'm going to do. So that'll be on another video my friends. Didn't want to go today. It's quite cold. Temperature's two degrees but it doesn't make any difference it, it should always start it's petrol man it only as if it's diesel so there you go that'll be a video coming up anyway well that was a foul start that was, that was an absolute foul that was unbelievable I'm still waiting uh, till I get a little bit of extra money I've determined that the brush bar is bent on this heritage so I'm gonna get a new brush by the rate there there are, there are a few quid so uh, I'm going to get a new one, but I need to sell some stuff. I've sold that clock, but the money I got for it has already been spent, god damn it. <laughs> Other than that, this is a mint thing, man. I'm well happy with it. I was just watching one of um, one old Steve Stevens' videos, and he's just learned how to do pip, or picture in picture, or um, in his case, and my case, video in video. Which I guess that'd be Viv, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, uh there we go. There's a little bit of pipping up there. I've never had a use for it really. I've never really found any use for it. I don't know why I would want to use it, but he reckons he's going to use it when he makes his uh, how-to videos on how to do SWR and everything else. So I'm interested to see what he ends up doing with it. Um, I haven't I've really been on the radio now for a, for a few weeks, so I haven't even been in the shack. I mean, for all I know, could be full of spiders in here. Dark. I can't be bothered to come in here to, to tell you the truth um, because everything was on here everyone moans all the time and I get fed up with it everyone's always complaining it's like depressing, do you know what I mean? there's nothing on there let's see what happens on the old marine radio we're about to get something on marine there'll always be something on marine 68's a local channel for London Gateway. I don't know, probably not going to be anything, anything near now. They do a broadcast every like half hour, I think. I probably just missed it. Never mind, eh? Anyway, back to work tomorrow. Do you know what? I've been watching a few other um, channels, yeah, various channels, and I've noticed that. Um, I seem to be, they seem to be influenced by me, of all people man, influenced by me. I've just turned the laptop on because I thought it, I'd better make sure it's still alive. It's, uh, I just thought I'd better check it's still living, I ain't turned it, it ain't been turned on for a good month. <laughs> so I just thought I'd check it's still alive. I mean, yeah. yeah, I've noticed that they seem to be influenced by me, so you know. I even got a shout out on one of them. He's only got like 30 subscribers. I'll put a link in the, in the description to this video actually. And you can go over. He does like random videos on food. 
and uh, other stuff. So hopefully he'll get out and about and do a bit more things soon. But yeah, I just thought it was a bit random, you know. When I started doing this video and stuff, I never thought I'd be uh, influencing people, but I, I must be. So there we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go put this battery in something now, and then I'm gonna go indoors and uh, just relax for the rest of my Sunday because there ain't nothing else to do. Um, just do it a bit, a bit time to go to work in a few hours anyway. So hey ho. Sweet. See what work brings tomorrow. Actually, I better go charge. I gotta go and charge the video camera for tomorrow because if uh, something happens at work and I can't video it because it'll be dead. It died on Friday. There we go, my friends. Sweet.